welcome to beautiful BAMP and in this second episode of my two part BAMP series we are digging even deeper checking out some of the very best things to see eat and do in this magical winter wonderland for a day of skiing snow and fun let's go not very good but I have a lot of fun now I've skied in Japan and New Zealand and now Canada I guess and I have to tell you Canada has been unreal Sunshine Village is the spot they have so many runs like for me it is huge and we didn't even get through all of them today um, I had a few stacks but I also had a great time um, we got some delicious lunch at the Trappers and this food was so good we went full Canadian with the Caesars and the poutine by the fireplace it was amazing now Sunshine Village have it all sussed out you guys we are actually staying here tonight staying here where the skiing happens so rather than having to get in the gondola and go back down get in the car get to our accommodation we are staying at the Sunshine Village lodge and it is beautiful I can see all of the ski runs in front of me um, this is our room it's nice and spacious they've given us some welcome goodies there's a restaurant on site which we're gonna be having dinner at we have a fireplace in our room which just starts with the press of a button and if we come out here onto the balcony <laughs> we can see all the ski runs so you can stay here and then wake up in the morning fresh tracks you guys <laughs> Do you know he fell on the ski lift today, guys? <laughs> That's right, I fell and nearly broke my neck. On that one right there. <laughs> he was here. Strawberry Express. <laughs> he was trying to get on the Strawberry Express and he just stacked it and they had to turn on the emergency brake and ski lift. It was really funny. It was great and I wish I had it on camera. Oh my god, look at this. Yeah. <gasps> Time for dinner, <laughs> um, and we are having dinner. <laughs> the chimney corner, chimney corner. Chimney um, corner, eh? So James has ordered a chicken pot pie, and I have ordered fish. I think it's Arctic char. I think they called it. Comes with rice, a little bit blanc, some veggies on the side, and I asked for an obscene amount of hot sauce, and my guide's on the livid. Looks like it's cooked. Similar to how you cook a salmon, slightly under. Really nice, Chris. Nice one. Dropped the whole. Swimming in hot sauce. The whole piece of fish. You're really right. good. Yeah. Can I get a bit for now? No. I'll get for now, please. I'll get hot sauce. Well, I'm about to. <laughs> yeah. That's great. <laughs> What's <laughs> on the s'mores? <laughs> yeah, send, send all your customers outside. <laughs> this is our amazing server. Hi, I'm Will. There we go. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to say, Will? How are you feeling? Well, I'm from Shropshire in England. Shropshire? Yeah, yeah. 
West Midlands. So it depends. It, it's it's south it's south to a northern urban, but it's north to a southern. Yeah. So it, it's in the middle. Stuck in the middle. Yes, okay, right. It's so funny. Oh, right, there we go. And what about the s'mores? <laughs> right, if you come here, be specific about the s'mores because I might send you outside by accident. <laughs> it's so funny, we're trying to order s'mores and he was giving us instructions on how to go outside and cook them by the fire, but they're on the dessert menu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. They're gonna be so tasty. Yeah. Thank you. The s'mores have come out and they look <laughs> absolutely Delicious. Now they do have a full food menu, but if you want, you can just focus on a tasty little apres ski dessert like this. Mm. Um, so basically, I believe that hot skillet is full of chocolate. He did warn us not to touch it. So okay. <laughs> no, it's okay, no. Um, Chocolate's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Molten chocolate covered in marshmallows, toasted of course, and then we've got the graham crackers. So let's just do it. I want to see this. So we're getting some top action. Oh no, I broke my cracker. Sorry. <gasps> <laughs> Right. Oh, I got all marshmallow. Mm. Oh. Mm. It's good though. Mm. <laughs> Straight spoon. <laughs> <laughs> so cool waking up here on the mountain. I've never done anything quite like this. Normally I just ski and then go back to my hotel in town and to get to stay up on the mountain like this is awesome. You feel like you have the whole place all to yourself. Now James was very keen to shred this morning so he got up early and hit some fresh tracks. I took the opposite route, decided to sleep in, have a slow cozy morning. I'm about to go get a great cup of coffee, some breakfast, and then we're gonna go out and do a really fun activity, which actually takes place up here on the mountain. And I think it's something most people wouldn't do, but we're gonna do it. Let's go. This is absolutely amazing. Um, my expectations were low. I thought this would be a fun little time, but this is incredible. So we've gotten away from the actual ski area. Are yeah. we off piste? <laughs> if you know what that means and I'm right, just say so. Um, or correct me if I'm wrong, but I guess technically we're in the back country area now. We're seeing these incredible mountains and there's no other footprints in the snow and everything is covered in this beautiful blanket of fresh white powder. It is just spectacular it is absolutely beautiful i i would never have occurred to me to do snowshoeing in a ski field like this I, I would always just go skiing but this is well worth doing it's fantastic and we're not even done yet All the snowshoeing, all the skiing, all the sending it, <laughs> your girl has an appetite. <laughs> Let's replay that footage of you sending it. Let's see that footage of Splaying it, <laughs> crashing down the mountain. I had a real meltdown today, guys. But look, I'm back. 
Um, didn't didn't break anything. I didn't break anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and for dinner we've come to Juniper Bistro, and we were both so hungry. Like we just sat down, started looking at the menu. Oh, oh good timing. Yes. Enjoy. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Wow. <laughs> there we go. Slancha. Slancha. Oh. What did he say? Juniper gin? It's gin. It's so good. Okay, wait. Regroup. Focus. So we're sitting here and we're looking through the menu. And I said to the head chef, I was like, what do you recommend? And she was like, oh, everything's good. Of course. She has to say that. The guy from the next <laughs> table popped up and he was like, get the carrots. So we ordered the carrots. We've already annihilated <laughs> one serve. We've got another serve coming. Bad boy Dutch carrots. You have no uh, idea how good these are. They're glazed and they're all <laughs> caramelized and spiced and so yummy. The Brussels sprouts are unreal. Yes, yeah. These potatoes are Irish approved. <laughs> they're so, so good. Do you eat the tops of your carrots? Because yeah. I don't know. Do you? So do you? Just comment <laughs> down below if you eat the top of your carrot. Okay. Try it. It's actually got a lot of flavor. Yeah. <laughs> There's more carrots? More yeah. carrots. Oh, I've never eaten so many carrots in my life. Okay. Um, These are different carrots though. Yeah, they're different they're carrots. All, they're all orange carrots. They're all orange Albertan carrot. Okay, and then I got for my protein. For my protein. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. So for my protein, I've got salmon. <laughs> and James has got duck and I'm going to try my salmon yeah. for you. Mm. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Has the, duck. the duck is it's pretty tasty, tender, got a little red wine jus on the top. <laughs> it's pretty good. Have that any day of the week. These potatoes, I could just eat yeah. just the whole plate of those. Mm. Oh my god, okay. Everything here is good. We're gonna feast, we're gonna throw down, and then we're checking into our accommodation. We're gonna throw down, what does that mean? Throw down! <laughs> just, just, just throw the plates. We're throwing down! <laughs> you guys know what throw down means. Throw down. <laughs> Accommodation, we're staying at Storm Mountain Lodge and Cabins, perfectly located between the towns of Banff and Lake Louise. And you guys, these beautiful log cabins are straight out of my Canadian Rockies dreams. They are all things snow covered and cozy and quaint. I love how rustic and cute this cabin is. It is truly out of my dreams. It just feels like something out of a movie, to be honest with you. There's a very warm, very comfortable bed, a wood-burning fireplace. There are plenty of spots to sit, relax, and unwind. And the location really does make it perfect for exploring the Banff National Park. Now the lodge itself offers even more spots to hang out, plus they have delicious food including a breakfast that they serve and even a sweet little store that sells all kinds of lovely goodies. If you are looking for a truly unforgettable place to stay and a bucket list experience while you're here, this is it. Now just a few quick tips for you if you are planning a trip to Banff in the winter. To get here, I flew with Air Canada to Calgary and they were great. I caught the Banff Airporter from Calgary to Banff, which made transfer nice and easy before I was able to collect my hire car. It's pretty cold here in winter and I didn't have proper snow gear with me because I travel all the time. Um, so instead I just got some rentals for the week and I did that through Snow Tips Backtracks and one last tip you guys, I needed to get an electronic travel authorization or ETA sorted before I flew to Canada. I just applied online and it was approved nice and fast, it cost me under 10 Canadian dollars. I'll have all of this linked below for you. You put your heart on a letter To chase it away you got sun.
awesome. I'm sorry for all the noise. I know it's probably gonna be really loud, but they're so excited and so happy. They just want to run and they love it. They can run for miles and miles and miles. On our tour today, we're doing about 10 miles all up, which is easy for them. We come down here to the Great Divide. We're gonna switch spots in the sled. Um, so James can sit at the front and film this time on the way back. And you get a chance to meet your team. This is unreal. This has been on my life. Yes, yes. This has been on my life travel wish list, bucket list for as long as I can remember. And I'm so glad I got to do it. So we're doing this with King Mick. Um, they are the only operators in Banff and I 10 out of 10 recommend it. These dogs are so happy and they love doing this. This is a real highlight for me. <laughs> Lake Louise. Uh, it is so so beautiful here. Yeah. I'm gonna start with some lunch, a little bit of a late lunch here at the Lakeview inside the Fairmont Hotel. Now this hotel is iconic. If you ever get the chance to stay here, you should. And I'm deliberately shooting the wrong way so the light <laughs> is behind us because I want you to be able to see the window a little bit. Um, out there is Lake Louise and there's mountains and it's just beautiful and you should just come here and eat and enjoy it and in a little bit we're going to go outside and do some activities. I won't spoil it just yet, but... Um, you'll find out. You'll find out. But first, let's eat. James is going to lobster roll? Yeah. It's almost like a, a, a BLT lobster roll <laughs> yeah. and a brioche. It's a bacon, lobster and tomato. It's a BLT. <laughs> bacon, lobster, tomato. And for it's me, great. just the other day, I was saying to James, I'm really craving a pumpkin ravioli. And they have a pumpkin ravioli. That smells amazing. Mm. The sauce on that is just... It's so good. Try one. Try one. <laughs> it's really good. The pasta is perfect. Mm. Hot dog. Mm. I would like to apologize for that noise in the background. I think someone's going ice fishing, which is really cool. Um, we're not. We're going ice skating. And you guys, we've gone full Canadian. We have the hockey sticks and the pucks. Um, I believe they're gonna help us not fall over. Um, James is actually a really, really good ice skater. He's ice skated for many years. Um, he's he's Donald ice ball. He's able to do a lot of tricks. He's not. What you're about to see here is a real display of athleticism from us both. <laughs> um, and there are these really sweet girls in the background. I'll zoom in like a creep. They look so cool. Look at her. That is the most beautiful woman on the planet getting ready to skate. And then old Goober here. <laughs> we're going to take the GoPro and we're just going to send it and hope for the best. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Oh, no, you fell over a I didn't fall over a I didn't fall over <laughs> It is 
time for dinner, and you may be wondering who is our new friend. <laughs> this is John. Hey. <laughs> so we met John when we were ice skating. Let's get a shot of all three of us. We're out skating, and we just need Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, James. <laughs> like we just. <laughs> <laughs> And John is actually like, he was out there shredding like a legit hockey player and we were like, this guy! And then I'm we pretty had sure a... you hit the puck back to me, like a few yeah, times. Yeah, you did! Yeah, yeah. You yeah. did! He took pity on us and helped us. Yeah, look at these losers. Yeah! <laughs> and he's staying here at the Fairmont, um, he said it's beautiful to stay here. Um, so we were like, come... Give a little bit of insight. Come have what? dinner with us. John works at Instagram. John works at Instagram. Is that okay to say that? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> John works at Instagram. <laughs> um, so we all said we were, but, well, James and I said we were coming for dinner at Louisa, and John said, "Hey, I'll come too." So here we are having our <laughs> lovely friend dinner, and that's just so nice when you travel, right? You get to meet other people. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's been watching us film our food and carry on, which is really nice. So let's talk food. James has got the best looking carbonara I've ever seen in my life. It's like lobster, big fat medallion of lobster on top, bacon, creamy deliciousness. John got this chicken. The number one dish. Our server said it's the number one dish, so there you go. I got the market fish, subbed out the couscous with some fingerling potatoes. I'm very happy with that. Let's try. Oh, that is really good. <laughs> that is really good. No, oh, get in there. That's the best mac and cheese I've ever tasted Stop in my life. What about mine? Nope. <gasps> Yours did. Oh, well, oh, sorry. You bought your. Oh, yeah, sorry. Mine is good. No, I didn't say the other night. You did say that the other night. This beats it, though. <gasps> yeah, yeah, this beats it. James. Sorry. My truffle? Character. I love truffle. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> He's right. That is really good. All right, you guys. We have had the best time here in Canada, but um, our time has come to an end. We're going to be flying out of here tomorrow. Um, but I hope you get a lot of inspiration out of both of the two episodes about some of the best things to see, eat, and do around Banff and Lake Louise. There's honestly no shortage of stuff. I'm going to have so many links below for you, um, so many resources that you can check out to book and, and plan an amazing adventure of your own. And I think you'll love it if you come and visit. And with that, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you've enjoyed it. You know, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below. Hope you have a great week ahead and I will see you in a brand new episode next week. Love ya!